We've made it to the home stretch here on the Rams franchise. Welcome back in, y'all. We are at week 16, taking on the New Orleans Saints. Uh, last episode, we took another tough loss. Are you guys shocked to the Commanders? Um, yeah, we're on a bit of a losing streak here. Uh, we were at a we were earlier in the season. We were at a spot where it looked like we might have a chance, you know, to be a playoff team, and then it's just slowly dwindled. Um, yeah, I think we've lost. Yeah, we've lost three in a row. We've lost to the Browns, lost to the Ravens, lost to the Commanders, and now we've got a date with the nine and five Saints, who are leading the NFC South. Um, yeah, so we were in a spot where if we, you know, just continued to go down the stretch and play decent football, we were gonna have a chance to make the playoffs. Now that basically is thrown out the window um, because uh, I don't think in eight and nine we're getting in whatsoever. If we take a look at the standings, we need to basically hopefully get to nine and eight for any single uh, chance to get in. But yeah, that's still gonna be tough. We're so far down. All these teams are around five hundred. We'd probably have to get, we'd have to go. We had to would have finished nine and eight and still get some help potentially. Um, so eight and nine is not looking like it's going to get in whatsoever, but obviously we're going to keep trying to win games. Um, even if we were to lose this week and fall to five and 10, I mean, we're not just going to give up, but we're going to keep trying to win games and finish with the best record we possibly can. But we'll start here with a short week playing on Thursday night football here against the saints. Let's see what we got here. Obviously it was a short week this week. Obviously doesn't get much time to prepare or practice the game plan, which could lead to them being out of sync, having a tough time with the ball or scoring points. It's not like we have a problem with that anyway. It's not like our offense is so good. So we're saying that we need to step it up on defense. Yes, Aaron Donald, we do need to step it up on defense because we have to only allow less than 20 points if we're going to have any sort of chance. Yeah, anyway, beat the Saints and I'll have two or fewer offense touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whatever. I mean, you already lost me with beat the Saints, if, you, if I'm being honest. But yeah, weekly strategy here. Obviously, not a ton to get into. Derek Carr's obviously must be having a pretty good year for them if they're nine and five. Go ahead and start this training. Hopefully, no new injuries. Uh, Stafford, Matthew Stafford, who's been missing now for the past I don't know how many weeks. I think he missed like nine to ten weeks almost. Um, will return next week. He's on his last week of his uh, torn labrum rehab, so he'll be back next week against the Giants. And like I, I've said in the last couple episodes, but I think we will end up going back to them. I mean, really, I mean, Stenson just comes out and kills at this game. Maybe we'll. We'll go ahead and we'll roll with in, but I think I'm kind of sold on going back to uh, going back to uh, Stafford at this point. Stenson Bennett hasn't wowed me in any way, but yeah, Stafford Tarlam room going to be back next week, and Rob Hamstein is going to miss the rest of the season. Obviously, unless we somehow sneak in the playoffs, which like it's very looking very unlikely. But we'll get into this game against the Saints. All right, but here we are on Thursday night prime time, wearing our retro throwbacks. Saints are in their uh, all white color rushes. Prime time here, game, night game here in LA. The whole world is watching. We got to show them that we are not an embarrassment. But here comes Derek Carr leading out the Saints offense. We'll take a look at his numbers this year. 2,800 yards, only 14 touchdowns and six picks. But they must be doing a lot on the ground there. The nine wins and only 14 touchdowns for them. So their run game must be pretty good. Uh, we'll see what they're looking like with their depth chart. Uh, Derek Carr quarterback. Obviously, Kamara and Jamal Williams at halfback. Kendrick Miller, the rookie out of TCU. Um, receiver is Chris Olave, stud, Michael Thomas, good when healthy, and then Trey Con Smith, Rashid Zahid, Brian Edwards, and Brian Edwards, I'm pretty sure Brian Edwards just got cut in real life, but Juwan Johnson, Taysom Hill, and Foss Morrow all at tight end, good core there, Trevor Penning at tackle from UNI, Cesar Ruiz at guard, Eric McCoy at center, Trey Turner at the other guard, and Ryan Ramchek at tackle, one of the best, they've been one of the better offensive lines in football for a while, the Saints have been, but Cam Jordan at end with Isaiah Foskey, the rookie out of Notre Dame. Uh, Brian Brissett, rookie out of uh, Clemson, and Jordan Phillips there for him. Pete Werner, Demario Davis, one of the best linebackers in football, and then Jalen Smith, who I'm pretty sure is on just got re-signed on their practice squad in real life, but former second round pick who had that horrific uh, injury back. I think it was right before the draft. It was like in college. I think it was either. I think it was either the end of your college. It was in his last year at Notre Dame, or it was like in the, you know, when they were doing the like pre-draft like time i don't know what i'm trying to say here it was like in the window between his season and uh the beginning of but i think it was during then i think it was during his college year i don't remember though for sure uh marshawn Lattimore, alante taylor second year guy out of uh, tennessee i believe and then paul sanadebo at db with tyron matthew and marcus may another team that looks a million times better than us on paper which means they're probably gonna beating us we're on a huge losing streak here but you know i'm in my favorite ram jerseys so maybe we'll have a better chance I think last time I wore these jerseys, uh, Stafford got hurt for the rest of the year, which sucked. Pick! No, I read it like a book. We need to make this. I'm already getting mad. This was happening, oh my gosh, last week against the Commanders. We had multi a couple chances to pick off when uh, freaking Jacoby Brissett. It just didn't happen. This is already, that's got to be pick, man. I'm all over that. I'm taking that away with Ernest Jones, and Olave is open. 
Great. First and 10. First and 10. Another pass play here for Carr. And yeah, that was a nice route there by Traquan Smith, but Derek Carr just missed him. Kobe Durant's flexing like, yeah, I did that. You did nothing. You got beat. First run of the game for Kamara, and yeah, he's already, yeah, he's already, yeah, yeah, this is great. What is going on? He literally just like user cut, user hard cut, user hard cut, like three in a row, and we just can't do anything, and Kamara gets in, and man, and I'm just ready. Can we just get to the offseason? I'm already, I'm tired of this. I'm already so frustrated. We just, nothing can go my way. Maybe it'll be more enjoyable next week if Stafford comes back, because then we can just say screw and just chuck the ball downfield. <laughs> But yeah, we're down 7 nothing, and it's been like a minute and 45 seconds. Not like, it has been exactly a minute and 45 seconds. But we'll take a look at Stenson's Bennett's numbers for potentially his last start of uh, this year. 11-62 in the air, 7 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. You can see it there briefly. 10 picks there for Stenson. You know, the pro the problem's been like what's been all It's just he, it's, he can't throw the ball downfield with his arm, you know, his arm strength. So we have to go underneath all the time, which is fine. But we got Cam Akers making plays. One of the best running backs in football this year. I'm curious to see what his stats will look like at the end of the year. He didn't miss a few weeks, and I think he's still, I mean, he's having a great year. So I'm excited to see his numbers at the end of the year because, you know, he got superstar development. That was the big thing about this year. We knew it was going to be a struggle this year to potentially make the playoffs. Of course, I'm actually going to dump it off to him here, too, for four yards. But, yeah, we knew it was going to be a struggle to make the playoffs. It was kind of just hopefully about developing ourselves, some guys. It would have been nice to maybe get some development trade upgrades on the defense side of the ball compared to just offensively where we just got Cam Akers up to superstar. And then I think, what, yeah, Zach Evans too. Cam, give him the first third engines. Okay, and then we got uh, Zach Evans, a rookie running back up to star. But, so yeah, both running backs got development trade upgrades. But, uh, yeah, that was it. Obviously, Cooper Cup would have got one if he already was an X-Factor. But we're going to give it to Cam here on third inches. Hopefully, he can go and just pick this up. He will. He's got plenty of room up into the second level. Up to the 40. Underneath there to Kyron Williams. Nice ball there by Stenson Bennett. Kyron Williams is up for another first down. Up to the 13. Stenson Bennett's 3 for 3 so far on this drive. Trying to find Higby. Yeah, I know. Under pressure, out of reach there. I'm lucky that it wasn't, you know, airmailed and one of those say. I mean, it kind of was airmailed, but oh God, one of those safeties didn't make a pick on that play. My audible is to a run. They have one linebacker over the middle. Hopefully that'll allow us to pick up some yards. Yeah, we're going to the outside. Cam Akers make a miss. No, not a great juke move there. But another first down there for Cam Akers. We're up inside the 20 in the red zone. Cooper Cup quickly makes the catch. Will quick slant for four. Looking for Cooper Cup in the end zone, and we got him. Actually, a good ball there by Stenson. That was under pressure, and he put a good ball in the end zone. Cooper Cup. Another touchdown for him on the year. I don't know what this camera angle is, but um, I think they're on the wrong side of the field, buddies. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, good ball there by Stenson Bennett. And we're going to knock this thing up at seven. Let's go. I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised there. First play of their drive here. Derek Carr throwing it away. Going to be second and ten. Good coverage there. Screen pass out to Kamara. Ernest Jones. Nope, not going to get there in time. Kamara's spinning off a guy up to basically midfield up to the 47. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be struggling to tackle this guy. Gosh dang it, we just don't have the speed on the edge to get out there. Kamara, man. Two carries for 79, and he had that play in the air. Dude's already over like hundred yards on the day already. We're in the first quarter. Quickly there from Michael Thomas for six, second and four. Underneath, yeah, well, I don't. I guess Witherspoon didn't make the tackle, but not a great dive on that. I mean, it, it worked out, but it didn't look good. <laughs> First and goal at seven. We, we're not getting a stop today, huh? Wasn't our wasn't our goal allow two or two or less touchdowns and win two offensive touchdowns and win, and they're about to score again here. Thank gosh. I don't, okay, I was gonna say even if he didn't drop that, we were definitely gonna tackle him out of bounds, so he wasn't gonna get his feet in. But second and goal. Camara, we gotta make that tackle. Oh goodness! Third and goal at the one. Great. Give to Camara. What are they with Hummel? Yes, we made a stop. Hummel, I think Lake. Yeah, both Lake and Hummel, both there, making the tackle, and they're going for it. Come on, defense. Come on, boys. Somebody do something. Somebody do something, please, please. 
please? Aaron Donald, you freak! Finally, Aaron Donald makes the play. Stopping him short. Forcing him uh, the turnover on downs. And now Cam Makers is going to run this in for a 95-yard touchdown. And the Rams are going to have the lead here shortly. That works. Cooper Cup. Oh, my goodness. Throw out a sack. Completed to Cooper Cup. <laughs> Stenson Bennett doesn't want to get doesn't want to get benched next week, does he? He's trying to. He's making all these throws that I've never seen him make. He's now running play action. Cooper Cup's open, but we missed him. Dorcas Robinson's coming. Dang it! Second and done. Able to get the playoff. Going to go to Cooper Cup on the out route. Perfect. Cooper. First down. Let's go. All right, we're going to have a fresh set of downs when the second quarter starts. Stenson Bennett, 7 9, 6 7 yards, and a touchdown. Got to keep moving the football, boys. First play, Cooper Cup on the jet sweep, and Cam Jordan says, I ain't having none of that. Untouched. Not good. Second and 12, Cam Akers, a little bit of a cutback, kind of fighting forward as much as he can. Gets about three up at the 50, third and nine. Throw out a sack there. Probably would have been picked if that if I wasn't a throw out a sack there. So I guess that probably ended up working out to our benefit. But yeah, obviously punting here on fourth and nine, just unfortunate. First and ten, Derek Carr looking. Someone's got to get him. Yes, it's safety. Yes, Kobe Turner gets the safety, and I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Something good happened for us. A safety. No way. Let's go. All right, now we need to score. Jesus. Just go get it, Stenson. Yes, we're going to have room. Let's go, Stenson. Get up the sideline. Just be faster. Let's go. Flag. Roughing, uh, roughing the whatever they call it. Um, What do they call it? Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Yes. <laughs> Tack on 15. Thank you to Mario Davis. We're on the 35. We have to score a touchdown. Please. Cam makers. Get that outside. No, Marshawn Lattimore made a great play. I was hoping we'd be able to bounce that. Unable to. Yeah. Um, honestly, if that wasn't a throw to sack, we might have had him by chance. But that's might kill our drive here because... Yeah, this isn't good. I'm actually going to put Cam Akers on a drag immediately. We don't need him to try to block that guy. I think we should be fine. He's going to be faster than Mario Davis. Get up the field, Cam Akers. Yes, let's go. 16-yard catch there for Cam, and we're in the red zone. Tyler Higby found the soft spot in the zone. Let's go. Up to the three. We're punching this thing in. We're absolutely punching this thing in. First and goal, Cam. Nope, Demario Davis and Co. Marcus May and Demario Davis. Yeah, we ain't getting out of that tackle. Going right back to it, Cam. Yep, we're untouched. Let's go outside, Cam Akers in the end zone. And we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up nine here. Let's go, baby. That safety's huge. I cannot believe we got that. Gonna go up nine. The extra points good. If we can get a stop here, we're we'll feeling pretty decent. All right, nine point lead. Five oh four left in this one. See what Derek Carr and the Saints can do here. I got to take away Kamara quickly outside. Taysom Hill with the catch. Five yards. Kamara's going nowhere. We got him. Quick slant. Yep. Traquan Smith makes the catch. I should have ran man there. It's all right, though. First and ten. Yep, and another quick slant. See, uh, they ran quick slants back-to-back -back plays. That time I wasn't, man. Olave just cooked. I'm assuming Witherspoon on that side. First and ten. Kamara, Bobby Brown's there. Aaron Donald, everyone's kind of there, but he still gets four. That's all right, though. Second and six. Second and six. Back to Kamara. Hummel's right there. We got to make that tackle, and... Ugh. Basically got pushed forward first down, but and they're, and they're going to call it third and inches. Here we go. Forcing a field goal here would be massive. Kamara's tired. Someone's got to force the ball out. Kamara's got to get popped in the backfield. Play action. And wide open. Michael Thomas. Nice hit there by Hummel, but first down, I'll take him to the two-minute warning. They're basically in the red zone at the 22. Screen pass. 
I overran that with yeast. Um, if they actually make that completion, they score. Um, Derek Carr threw it way later than I thought he would, and that's obviously why he got hit. So I guess it all kind of worked out second and ten. Gosh, I knew it. Both routes, and Michael Thomas breaks the tackle. Can't break down and make the tackle on Michael Thomas, and he's in the end zone. I'll make it a two-point game. We're going to minute 52, all three timeouts. Can't. Oh, Stenson. Just, nope, not going to be faster. Throw it away. Second and ten. Right there, Demarcus Robinson. He makes the catch. All right, first and ten. Let's go. Thank goodness. That was that was worrisome right there. No doubt, no doubt there. That was a little bit worrisome. Cam Akers, be faster. Yes, get up the field. Jump out of bounds. Cool. Up to the 44. Because even a field goal here would just be nice, just to have that breathing room. Because then if they end up scoring a touchdown, we're still a field goal away from potentially taking the lead. We're going to Cooper Cup here, no doubt in my mind. Jesus Christ, Marshawn Lattimore. I thought they were in man for a second. They were clearly in zone. All right, I'm trying the I'm trying the screen pass. If we can get it off, it might work. And no, nope. that's, that's I guess you can bullet whatever. Horrible third and ten. Cooper Cup, just make them throw a Stenson. Yes, thank you Stenson Bennett for sitting in the pocket and making that throw. We got plenty of time here, but I am hurrying it up a little bit. Not good. Go deep. Oh no, picked. Why do I? I know he doesn't have the arm strength. I know he doesn't have the arm strength. Why do I do this? Alante Taylor gets the pick. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they go down here and kick a field goal or score a touchdown. That wouldn't shock me one bit. Underneath to Camara. Out of bounds after six. I always just get in the moment and I get too fancy with it and I do stuff I know I shouldn't do. Like, I know he doesn't have the arm strength to make that throw, but I still tried it. Screen, make that tackle. Cool. Third and inches underneath to Camara. Yeah. For oh, they didn't give it to him. Fourth and inches. Wow. I literally cannot believe they didn't give that to him. All right. Well, well I mean, technically, we have a chance here to go get points, but I don't, you know. Who knows their offense, you know? All right, 28 seconds. They're in man. Cooper Cup should be able to win that. Let's go. Cooper does win that. that that's going to help us out. It gives us a 35. We'll use our first timeout. I just need him. Like, I just need him to always be a man to man because if they're a man to man, Cooper Cup should be able to get open. Like, he is open right now. We're going to try it. He made the freaking catch. <laughs> Cooper Cup just makes plays, and we're knocking on the door here, field goal range. Quickly to Tyler Higby, just pick up some yards. We got timeouts to use. We'll take that. Use the timeout up to 35. Now it's easily a makeable field goal from 52 out. Should be. And I am just going to go ahead and turn and give this. See if we can pick up a few more yards. Cut back. Can't make hers. A little bit of daylight. Not enough, though. We will use our final timeout here with about three seconds left. And we'll take our field goal. Try to go up 19 to 14 for half. But that's a huge drive there. That was that was massive, especially after throwing that pick after the last drive. That's big. But field goal should be up and good, no problem. Yep, we're good. 19 to 14 at halftime. We got the lead and we get the ball, right? I think we get the ball. Yes, we do get the ball. That's big. Points. Touchdown. Just score a touchdown, please. It would make me so happy. All right, well, we got third and 12 here. Problem. Cooper Cup out route. Get your feet in. Roughing the passer? Roughing the passer? What the, what the, what the, is that? What did they? What? Huh? They're gonna call that? Okay. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess he made the catch and they hit him late. I guess even though that was that was a ridiculous call. But yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Cooper Cup. There we go. Six yards. Cam Akers, look at the bounce outside. Give me that block, Cooper Cup. He did. Cam Akers up inside the 15. Got to the 10. First and 10 at the 10. That was a wild bounce outside. I won't lie. That was wild. But we need to punch this thing in, man. We're here. We're right here. Cam Akers cut back up the middle a little bit. Picks up threes. Over 100 on the day. Second and seven. 
Cam Akers toss. There's just nowhere to go. Yeah, we're just cutting that back. He picks up a yard, and we got third and six on the six. Gonna look for Cooper Cup. He's got it. Cooper Cup in the end zone. We just got to find the guy. We have to find him. If we're passing the ball, it's got to go to Cooper Cup. And that's so massive. We're going to be up 26-14 here in the third. The offense is doing, has done its job for the most part today. The one interception was unfortunate, but we were able to answer back. First and 10 here for Carr. He's got nowhere to go. We got to get there. He's throwing it away. Okay. Second and 10, we'll take that. Kobe Turner was there knocking him down, but he should have, if he would have been there a step sooner, we might have got a sack. Second and 10. That's got to be picked. Witherspoon jumped the route on a lot, maybe we get the interception. Yes, Derek Carr makes a bad decision there. Witherspoon makes a great play on the ball, and we are set up inside the Saints territory, already up 12. Just got to just gotta walk away with points. A touchdown, I mean, would be incredible. Oh, God, Mario Davis. And there goes uh, Kalen Saunders, one of their defensive linemen. But um, a touchdown here would be massive because, I mean, a field goal would still only put us up, you know, 15. But, you know, we'll take points any way we can. It's it's basically free points. Is Cooper Cup going to be open? You bet he is. What a dog. What an absolute legend. He's like, I mean, no reason we have five wins because Cooper Cup's on the team. No reason we're in games is because Cooper Cup's on the team and Cam Akers, but we need them both. Cam. Juke move. <laughs> up to the eight. First thing, goal at the eight. Let's go. Let's punch this thing in, boys. Let's get a win. Second and goal, Demarcus Robinson. He's in the end zone. No way. I did not think I was worried there. I was like, I knew he had the inside leverage. I was like, he's probably not catching that, but he is. Demarcus Robinson's in the end zone. No freaking way. We're going up 19. Going up 19. Let's go. 33-14. Let's go, boys. I'll tell you one thing in this game. Is Stenson Bennett earning the job for the rest of the year with Stafford returning next week? If we're out of it, I mean, we're basically out of it. Does Stenson just get the nod the rest of the way? And then we reevaluate in the offseason whether we draft a quarterback or roll with, you know, Stafford or potentially Stenson. We'll figure it out. I mean, obviously, the goal wouldn't. Oh, my gosh, Jamal Williams. Obviously, probably don't want to roll into the year with Stenson just because he is such a low overall and we know i mean if we roll in the year with stenson it's gonna be the same stuff we either we probably go with, we start with staff for next year or we draft a quarterback or we sign a quarterback i mean that's really only three options to be honest oh god no pick witherspoon number two of the day no that was a great catch by olave and that's why olave is a star right there just making a play on the outside good coverage by witherspoon just made a play first and ten aaron Donald's right there there we go aaron Donald makes a play he won his matchup Tag for loss, second and 11. Underneath, there's two routes, and yep, I hesitated. Because I always think if I take away that first one briefly and then I move to the second, he'll throw it to the second when I'm moving. But, you know, they right when they see you basically pause and go to the other one, they go to the guy you were covering at the beginning because that's just how it works. First and 10, they're inside the red zone. That's 16. Uh-oh, audible, not good. Are we all okay? We're still lined up. We're still matched up. That's at least good. Don't do it to me, Kamara. Witherspoon. Well, Michael Thomas made the catch, but he was out of bounds. <laughs> Derek Carr is just trusting these. I mean, he's got good receivers. Might as well trust him on the outside. It's like me throwing it to Cooper Cobb all the time. I just trust him to make the catch if he's somewhat open. Second and 10, Derek Carr. Quick drop. Yep, he's got uh, Michael Thomas there. Four, seven. Third and three. The thing about this, though, is that if we get them, we stop them here, they will kick the field goal. They will kick the field goal here. They, I don't think they would go for it. They just ran a draw with Derek Carr. There's no way. Nice hit. Fourth and two. Is that an option? I have no idea. But, yeah, they will take the field goal. That's a huge. That was a horrendous play call. Fourth and two. They'll take the field goal here. It'll be 33-17. to 17. We got 16-point lead. Points. Points, 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 points. First and 10. There's no freaking way. Fumble, get it, no! There's no way. Second pick of the day for Alante Taylor. There's no way that that was like, wow, what a play. So my thought here was, 
Robinson's got the leverage, so if Long Stenson can put a decent ball on it, they shouldn't be able to pick it. But the problem is he didn't put a decent ball on it, and he overthrew it, clearly. And then, of course, they get the little speed boost that they do, and Marcus Robinson doesn't do anything, go for the ball or do anything, and yeah. Lonzo Taylor makes a good play on the ball and picks it off. And yeah, this is... They, I'm... Oh, God damn it, dude. God damn it. I'm going to choke this shit. Play action. Yep, wide open. Michael Thomas, one-on-one -on -one Kobe Durant. He's up to the 15. 13. Gosh, literally if we don't even score there, if we can just pick up a first down or two, we at least get it to the fourth quarter. And I do what I always do. Throw a pick in a bad time. Pick. Oh, I forgot. Linebackers can't jump. Oh, that's... I mean, it is a linebacker. That's Michael Hoyt, but... I was hoping that was Hummel, but yeah, even more of a chance that we're not making a play on that. But third and two here. Fullback dive. You're going nowhere. Ernest Jones, nice hit. That should take us to the end of the third quarter. Now nah, they're probably going to run a play here. All right. We're packing the line. Zone coverage. Will they snap it? They won't. Okay, that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. Entering the fourth, we got a 16 point lead, but Saints are knocking on the door here. Well, Traquan Smith scores immediately. And yep, they're obviously gonna go for two to try to make this an eight point game. This would be such this would be so huge. Just get the stop. Can we get some pressure? Thank you, we got him. That is so huge. Still a two possession game. Bobby Brown gets home. Thank you. Run some clock. Get some points. It's that simple. Look at Cooper Cup's numbers today. 11 catches, 155, and two scores. We got the best receiver in the league in the game. I'm curious what his numbers are going to be after this year in total. Because I feel like, I mean, he's he's missed he missed some time, and he still had a crazy year. Am I throwing another pick? <laughs> Almost. Second and 10, Cam Akers just gets to the outside. Yep, first down, easily for Cam. Run through him. That's all right, though. 19-yard carry there for Cam Akers. Another fresh set of downs. We got to keep the ball on the ground. I need to stop. Stop messing around in the air and keep it on the ground. Second and eight, right back to him. Good tackle there by Tyron Matthew. Third and five. Makes it certain manageable. Can't make up to 140 on the day. Might as well. Overthrown. Alright, well, putting it back to him. Um, yeah, I just thought, screw it. Let's try it. Let's just go to our best player. If Stenson can put it close, then maybe we got a chance at Cooper Cup making a play. But, you know, way overthrown there. And hopefully we can get a defensive stop here. That was a nice spin move. All right, seven minutes left, 7.06 to be exact. Plenty of time for them to go down and get points. But if we get the ball back, we'll absolutely be, you know, doing our best to chew as much off as we possibly can as Garrett Carr way wide there, Michael Thomas, second and 10. Underneath to Kamara, just make that tackle. Of course we can't, but it's fine. He didn't really get much. Eight yard there, eight yards for Kamara. And I would assume in this situation that no matter what, this is four down territory for him. As I guess we're trying out man to man here on third down. And it worked. Derek Carr just absolutely misses Michael Tommy. He wasn't really open. That was good coverage there by Durant. And yeah, definitely four down territory. I can't run and gauge eight. Are you crazy? I mean, they'll probably run the football or something. But fourth and two. Someone make a play. They're running it. They're running it. They're running it. Aaron Donald! Aaron Donald! Making plays. Made the play earlier. Huge play earlier when it was uh when they went for it in fourth down at the beginning of the game. And he makes that one there. Now we got the ability to take off as much time as we possibly can as Kane Makers not gonna be able to beat Pete Werner there, but at least we're gonna be able to run down 40 seconds. Second and nine, and we're going backwards for six. Sick. Well, this will be a this will be another run play and take a field goal, sounds like. 
Yeah, so Cam Akers lost another three yards on that play. I ran inside zone, and there was nowhere to go. So I'm going to run this down to the last second. We'll take our field goal here. Bring it back to a 13-point lead. It doesn't really help us a ton, but, I mean, it's better than being up 10, I suppose. Field goal is up and good. 36 to 23, we lead. Defense, defense, defense. Don't let them score quick. If they're going to score, make them work for it. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, the the field goal does help because then if they end up scoring a touchdown here, they still got to score another touchdown. They don't. They can't kick a field goal to tie the game or anything. They got to score twice no matter what. And, obviously, with the time where it's at with 412, should be an okay spot as long as there's no big plays. First play for Carr, drop back pass, quick slants going underneath, and we got a flag roughing the passer probably. Sounds about right. Sounds like something that we would do in this situation. Holding. Holding. Let's go. Again, I figured it was. I figured it was for sure. Uh, it was Byron Young's hurt, of course. But yeah, but I figured for sure that was gonna be rough in the passer. I just, it was just. I had a hunch. Had a hunch. But we're sending a little heat here. First and twenty, man to man, blitzing a little bit. Quickly picked. Witherspoon pick six. Ball game over. Witherspoon, second pick of the day, pick six, jumps the route, man-to-man -man coverage. Rams are going to get a dub here. Let's go. All right, yep, first play for them. Michael Thomas over the middle. Um, I was trying to audible to man, but it's fine. Another same exact play, Michael Thomas again. All right, we need to be in man-to-man. -man. They're going to go down to score this quickly. I know it. Can I go to man? Thank you. All right. I want to be a man. Because at least we'll have someone buy somebody if we get beat. <laughs> Three plays. Michael Thomas just killing us. And then they score. That took them four plays. It's just like when the Madden C... It's just funny. When the all Madden CPU... When the stars are already kind of against you a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. I like when they want to be when they want to just score they can. It's just it's just so easy and scripted. It's just like it's I don't even know. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. All right, so we recover the onside kick. Thank Christ, because we kind of bobbled it there for a second, but it's okay. Cam makers, take us home. First down. I'll take us almost to the two minute warning. Just going down easy no problem two minute warning they'll start using their timeouts here but we're good we're gonna escape this with a w thank christ what a game 42 to 30 when's the last time there's been this many points in a game it's nuts that's why i know there was a time when i was thinking i was like maybe i need to bump my quarter length up because it just seems like we're getting low scoring games but then you get times like this where it's just like crazy can makers just be faster stay in bounds But yeah, you just get games like this where it's insane scoring, which is which is cool. I mean, that's how it should be. We're not a good enough offense where we're going to put up a ton of points all the time. So, you know, it makes sense. K-Makers, the outside juke move, nowhere to go. Yep, another timeout for them. We're definitely going to get the ball back here, more than likely. I'm sure I won't be picking up this uh, first down if I had to guess so. K-Makers quickly. Give it to him. Yes, they did. They gave it to him. Let's go. That's actually going to I'm so happy we got that there. I didn't want to have to sit through another just drive about all this stuff. But we'll take our knees. We're going to get the dub. 42-30. to 30. Ending our three-game losing streak is going to bring us up to, what, are we 5-9? and nine? We'll get to 6-9 and nine on the year. Why would we run? See, I don't understand. Why would we? That made no sense. Why would we need the ball? And then next play, they'd be like, oh, no, we need to run it. It doesn't make any sense. But. We'll need this thing out. We'll take a look at the stats, but good win. We got two more weeks left. Um, comment down below. Let me let me know what you guys think regarding Stenson Bennett or Matthew Stafford. Uh, if you guys have any input of what you think on that. Do we just go ahead and roll Stenson for the last two weeks? Or do we bring Stafford back for the last two weeks? Because obviously he's a lot better passer. But with the season basically over... Do we just try to get Stenson Bennett a little bit more developed? I don't know. Let me know what you guys down, think down below. I'm still leaning. Even though we won this game 42-30, I think I'm still leaning Matthew Stafford because I think that's what they would do in real life in this situation. I think they would go ahead and um, put Stafford back in for the last two weeks. So I'm leaning Stafford. Um, 
let me know what you guys think down below but it'll probably end up being stafford next week but yeah we'll take a look at the stats here in a second all right, it's a minute, 21 of 33 for 251 yards, three touchdowns on two picks. Definitely his best start that he's had. Cam Akers, 28 carries for 164 and a score. Just has to be. It's just got to be him. Cooper Cup, amazing. 11 catches, 155 and two touchdowns. Cam Akers, five catches. It's always the same. It's like Cooper Cup leads us by doubling Cam Akers' receptions or pretty close to that. And then Cam Akers has like four or five. And then everyone else has like a couple. It's the same thing every single time. Defensively, though, total tackles. Aaron Donald had six. Four for Ernest Jones, four for Fuller, four for Hummel. Handful of guys with three. Aaron Donald had three tackles for loss big time. Jonah Williams had one. One for Ernest Jones, one for Young, and one for Kobe Turner. Sack numbers, it was Byron Young, Kobe Turner combined for the sack, and then Witherspoon two picks with the pick six. And then Tanner Brown was two for two. All right, one immediate upgrade, and it is our backup quarterback, Mr. Stenson Bennett. Um, what's it? Is his arm ring 60, 85, 60, I was like 85. Got to keep doing strong arm for him. Um, but, yeah, throw Chrissy mid, throwing a pressure went up one. 85 throw power you can just i mean his just throw numbers are just are not good he's i mean he's got like he's got decent athleticism which is solid pretty good athleticism for a quarterback but the passing numbers the passing attributes need to go up if he has any hope of playing for us more long term but go ahead and check out what it says short week obviously we didn't do what they wanted us to do we had two or less touchdowns but we got the win so that's what's important everyone got a thousand xp cool so some people should have some potentially maybe an upgrade and the next one, but yeah, we'll take that into next week. We get the win, move to six and nine on the year, and that'll close out our season at home at SoFi Stadium. Next two games on the road against the Giants and the 49ers. And breakout RB Cam Akers is gonna have the chance to go up to X Factor. Oh my gosh. Huge. Could be monumental. But that'll be the next episode, guys. Appreciate y'all tuning in for this one. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button if you're new. Comment anything down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.